All right, today I have a treat for you. We are going to try the chameleon pour that is blowing up on Instagram and YouTube. Uh, I've chosen these three colors, brown, green, blue. The exact colors are apple barrel, brown oxide, Craftsman Holiday Green, and Craft Smart Mediterranean Blue. We're gonna see how this looks. Um, this is 50% pouring medium, 50% paint, and the pouring medium is 70% glue, 30% water. And I have two ounces in each, which is a little bit more than you need for an eight by 10. An eight by 10, it's 80 square inches, plus another 10 square inches for this, and another eight square inches for that is 98 square inches. Divide that by 25, and that's about how many ounces you need. So I have two ounces more, you know, I need four. I have eight, or six, excuse me. So I'm gonna use a little bit much, but I'm gonna pour some of it off before I start. So the thickness of this, and hopefully this shows up, the paint's just dropping straight in, very little um, tower it's creating and then just disappearing. So that's what I'm trying to go with today. I am gonna use treadmill lubricant and we'll show you that in a second. So first, I'm gonna pour on my paint here. We have a lot, so we're just gonna let it go over the edges if it needs to. Make a couple of lines here. All right, I'm gonna come back to that. I'm gonna go green next. A nice little bob there, bob there, a little bit more on the end here. Didn't quite plan that perfectly, but that's fine. We will put as much as we can over there. And the brown, a little bit in here. A lot of it in here. Should we get some good coverage, especially on the corners here? All right, now we're gonna swipe this. So I'm going to make sure the paint gets over the side. I will probably paint my sides later, depending on how this turns out. So we're just gonna get the paint over the side so it's covering everywhere. Put that in there. We'll paint over the side. All right, next I'm going to get Sorry, I didn't have this ready, but I have a paper towel. I've just wet the end. I'm going to let it lose some of its water here. And then we're going to swipe. Super easy. Let it sit in the the color that we want, and then we're going to swipe this way slowly. And if you notice, we got a lot of uh, empty canvas over here, so we're gonna slightly go this direction also. Nice and easy. And grab all the rest of that. So, now that we've done that, this is the secret part. Got my nice beautiful swipe, now I'm gonna take my treadmill lubricant. I'm using a little boat that I made myself. This is just a piece of paper. Fold it in half, fold it in half once. Fold it in half twice, and then fold it back down on either side. Makes a little boat, and then I just fold the edges up tiny, a tiny bit. And then I have this little boat that I can use. I'll just use this new one. So I have my little boat, and the reason I have that is I'm gonna pour some of this lubricant right here and then I'm gonna take this cool tool that I use for tile uh, in this case I'm gonna use it for my chameleon pour and you can use a comb that has long you just want to make sure there's some some room in between so that and I'll show you this shortly I'm just gonna dab this in here I'm gonna start on this end and I'm just gonna pop it down very slightly Go about an inch, pop it down very slightly. Go about an inch, pop it down very slightly. 
wash this off really quickly. Do the same thing. I guess it's not quite an inch, maybe half an inch. Pop it down really slightly. Down slightly. Just You want to hold it there just to make sure your stuff gets off. And then I'm going to clean off the paint. I don't want that to pop up. Pop down slightly. Down slightly. And I want to get bigger cells, so I'm trying to put them a little farther away from each other. And do it again. Notice we already have some cool cells popping up. And the, the reason we do it this way that makes the chameleon pour is it's all uniform. You get the little spot of, of the treadmill oil all in a uniform spot. And I found that if you go all the way to the edge, what happens, you can kind of see it happening here, is the treadmill oil kind of pushed all the paint off. So you might actually want to um, paint the outside before you do this. But if you can see here, I'm gonna pop this out. You go a little bit closer. How beautiful this is. So if you want some more information about uh, pores like this, you can go to leftbrainedartist.com. Find out about paint calculator, uh, different types of paint and I hope you enjoy this tutorial and give a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you